Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today we have uh, an incredible and honorable change maker. Uh, he is changing the world. Uh, his name is President Sir Rishif. He is the president of University of the People. I am also a student at University of the Peoples. So today uh, I am having a conversation with him, with him, uh, because uh, I say it is a good opportunity for all of you to to see how he thinks uh, regarding education, regarding for, for the Rohingya people. So now I would like to start uh, to introducing him. So sir, thank you so much for joining me today for speaking here to all my friends, to all my audience who are watching this video. My first uh, conversation will be like, sir, you established the University of the People. So when you were establishing uh, University of the People at that time, uh, what was your vision? And now, what is your vision? So first of all, uh, Mong Seydula, thank you so much for inviting me uh, to speak here because the University of the People, uh, as you know, as our students, is a nonprofit, tuition-free, accredited American online university that is there to give opportunity for people who have no other opportunity. So UNESCO stated that in the year 2025, which is in three years, there will be almost 100 million people who will not have seats in the existing universities. And I started, I created University of the People in order to give opportunity for those people who don't have any other opportunity. So the idea is to bring university to the people who need us most. And by the way, not by the way, obviously uh, refugees in general and the uh, Rohingyas in particular are the very people who need us most. So these are the people that we opened the university for. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, as you say, uh, education is very important for everyone, for every human being, higher education is very important. At the same time, we can also see that some people still think that uh, higher education is not important for all. Uh, like uh, we are deprived from ed higher education in Myanmar and especially here in the camp, we are still not getting a right to higher education. So mm -hmm. do you have uh, any message for them like uh, who are restricting the right to education for all. What you you would like to, to say to those kind of system, those kind of people? So I believe that higher education should be a basic right for all and not a privilege for a few. And first of all, it's a human right. Every person deserves the right for, for a higher education. But you know what? It's not only for those people, it's for everyone. Because if people get educated, it's not only them being educated. It obviously gives them a better chance for a better future, but it's not only for them, it's for them. It's for their families, it's for their communities, it's for their countries and for the world. If you have more people educated, you will have a better society a society that will be more advanced, a society where people will succeed, society where people invent and make a better country for everyone. So even if you are not one of those people and you do have the right for higher education, you should give the other people the right as well because it's for your own benefit as well. Uh, so I believe that everyone should do it. Uh, it's the benefit for everyone. And you know, when you look at refugees, you know, Many of them stay in, in uh, refugee camps for many years. The only way for them to get out of the camp is through education, because you can do a lot more things. And if they want to go back to their countries, give them education, they will be able to, to rebuild their country. So for everyone, higher education uh, should be a basic right, and it's for the benefit of the refugees as well as for anyone else. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, you wonderfully uh, expressed what uh, education, why education, higher education is important for all. I hope everyone uh, will get a lesson from, from your point of view. Thank you so much, sir. And also, sir, uh, uh, University of the People is offering a quality education to everyone. 
uh, and also the university of the people of our uh, financial aid to all those uh, who are in need and in a bad situations like Rohingya people like me. So what uh, the world can, the world need to do for the university of the people, what uh, the influential forces, influential power of the world need to do for university of the people to continue its missions. So we want to offer higher education for everyone who needs it. In order to do so, we need help because it costs money. Even though we are built on volunteers and even though we operate on a very, very lean budget, there are costs involved. So we need help. So I would tell anyone who can help us, whether it is a government, whether it is a company, whether it is a NGO or individuals with the capacity, please help us uh, to educate the people who need us most. And as I said in the previous uh, answer, it's for the good of everyone. And if you are a decision maker, and if you are a part of the government, convince your government to support us because it's for the good of your own country. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, uh, as many of many people, like uh, there is a war in Ukraine and also the country Myanmar is now under a civil war. So all the students of those country uh, are not getting uh, a right and opportunity to acquire their higher education because of their country situation. So, so far I know many of the students uh, already joined University of the People and uh, still continuously uh, students are joining and I'm helping to many of them and the Rohingya people especially, uh, al al already many Rohingya people joined University of the People and uh, still many Rohingya P uh, students are trying to join. So. I would like to hear from you, from your, I mean, your message to all of those students who already joined and who are still trying to join University of the People, especially from the deprived community. So I would divide it into two. First of all, those that are already students, please continue through your studies and succeed. And even if it's hard, and I know that it is hard to study with us, and even if sometimes you have difficulties, and sometimes you might feel I can't make it anymore, please stick with us, never give up. Because if you never give up and you succeed in a few years, you will come to me and say, thank you for saying these words because that's what built my future. So that's for the student. If you are not a student and you are interested in studying, come to your people. If you go on the website to you owe people, that edu you can apply say that you are a refugee say that you are rohingya and you will you will get it sometimes we don't have enough scholarships so sometimes we tell people wait until we have scholarship but refugees are always the first priority for us so there are always those who get first into the university the our university and we have, you know, we have by now over 10,500 refugees, more than any university in the world. Some of them are Syrian, some of them are uh, Yemenite, Libyan, Iraqi, obviously Rohingyas, but also we have people from Afghanistan. Now we have Ukrainian coming, uh, African from different countries. They're all welcome. We believe that refugees are the people who need most higher education and we are there to help them. By the way, we committed to UNHCR that in the year 2030, in eight years, we will have 25,000 refugees. So the plan is continuing serving more and more and more refugees. Uh, so if you are a refugee, please come to us, please apply. Uh, we will do our best to accommodate you as, an, as I said, if we don't have the resources, we will tell you, wait, but we will let you know as soon as we can accommodate you. Don't hesitate. This is your key. This is your key for a better future. So don't give it up and do any effort uh, to succeed. Anyone with high school diploma can come to us and continue with us. And if English is not your native language, we also teach in Arabic, which is not relevant here. But if you, you are not fluent in English, soon we are going to offer English courses. So you will even be able to improve your English before coming to us. So you're welcome to join us. 
we can be happier by, but by serving more and more refugees. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, my last, uh, just last one from you that I want to understand is, uh, in my point of view, uh, you are such an amazing person changing the world. So if someone like me also went to do same, then do you have any tips, like any advice for me? Um, wow, <laughs> I am not sure. <laughs> I, I, you know, I think that um, first of all, I, I obviously admire people who want to change the world and who are willing uh, to do things to have a better world. Uh, I think that the advice that I would say is first of all, don't give up. That's the main secret of success. Never give up, never stop, continue doing what you believe in. Uh, on the other hand, I would say always look around you and see if what you are aiming for is achievable. Because sometimes, you know, you, we do things and continue doing them and they can't work. So make sure that what you want is workable. Uh, try to have um, other people to help you. You know, one thing that I learned when I announced the university, it was not my first university. I ran a university before, but it, I, it was, I never had a university that relied on volunteers. Uh, but University of the People relied on volunteers and through University of the People, I realized how much goodwill there is in the world. So my tip is that there is a lot of goodwill in the world, make sure to use it and use it in, in the right way. And I can't by encourage everyone who is trying to, like yourself, um, to make our world a better, a better place. And I can't by wish you a lot of success. Thank you so much, sir. Many thanks for joining us today. And um, I hope uh, the education uh, in the world will be a big revolution for everyone. And I hope there will be no one in this world who will remain left without getting a right to higher education. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. And uh, I share your belief and uh, hope to have a better world. And I do agree that education is the way to achieve it. So thank you very much for inviting me and good luck with everything you're doing. And I hope that as a result of this conversation, we'll have many more students. Yes, sir, inshallah. Inshallah, thank you.